what you did today and how well you played? Uh, I mean, I mean, I want to say yeah, but no at the same time. Like, I feel like, I hope I would say it. If anybody came in and did that, that would have been, been nice. Uh, like I said, it's a good team. Uh, I knew they were coming to get a good, get a big win. Uh, I knew my guys needed me to, you know, be that that leader. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna blow up into that. You know what I'm saying? When I thought my game I was gonna have, I didn't really expect that. Uh, but it took it took a level of its own. But I was out there playing, making plays, just doing whatever I could to help my team win. Feeling different out there in the crowd, the atmosphere, in the crowd, and everything. And you're feeling different out there. Yeah, it got really loud a couple. Times. Definitely, today was rocking. That's probably one of the loudest I think it's been since I've been here. Honestly, uh, just like I said, we're playing together. We're Making plays, we're getting big stops, like all type of stuff. Like it was just, it was a fun game to be out there. Can you talk about your court, your court vision uh, out there today? I mean, you, you sliced up their defense like a Swiss spice from out there. I mean, it was. It was quite impressive how you were reading the defense. Can you talk about your reads out there today yeah, definitely. on their defense? Uh, like I said, I was just playing at my, my pace. You know what I'm saying? I was drawing a lot of attention, especially once I got it going. You know, you kind of had to stick with me. From there, you just kind of make the right reads. You know, you, you react to what the defense is doing. You know, they got to do something. They had to change something. So you just make the right reaction. And my teammates are making plays, too. So it kind of worked out for both of us. Michigan really struggled to shoot, especially from three. Was that a combination of the defense, or was that more of just shooting balls, what did you see out there? I think a little bit of both. Uh, you know, it was a real emphasis of us to run them off that three-point line, you know, don't let them get those, you know, because when they're knocking down shots, they're a hard team to beat. So I uh, did a good job of glowing to them on the three-point line, running them off, you know, trusting our defense, trusting our, our slide, and, you know, making them score in the mirror. When Garland called you a bad man in the locker room, <laughs> just give your overall take on that and kind of what happened in here. Uh, it was crazy here. Yeah. They sprayed me with water, and, uh, sprayed coach with water, they, all type of stuff. Uh, like I said, just a, it was a big game, and you know, just I was I was on today. You know what I'm saying? I was on in a, in a lot of ways, we made a lot of plays. So you know, you gotta give credit where credit's due, I guess. Thousand times, but today he seemed especially animated early and noticeably. So I'm wondering if it has probably something to do with your playing. Are you aware of that when you're out there? How much this means to him? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you never question how much this game, how much this team, program. Each game means to him. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing you can never question about coach. Uh, he gonna give a thousand percent for each each and every time you step on that floor. And you know that's that's hard to do, especially you know what I'm saying. A guy like me, you know, you got who got to bring it, you know, for their team each and every night, or they might be trouble for. Her. So I understand that you know it's not an easy thing to do, and he does it to perfection. So you know, the credit to him. That's why he's one of the greatest to ever do this. You and him have very different personalities. So how have you adjusted to just knowing when I need to listen to this and when okay, he's just uh, yeah, crazy. definitely. Uh, it took a while. It took a while to kind of find that that balance. Uh, just, well, you know, he got a lot of knowledge. You know, he, he knows what he's talking about. Sometimes you can't hear it because you know he's screaming it and yelling. So you just got to you got to figure out. And once you learn them, once you understand them, it's, it's not that hard. Uh, you just know he wants to win. And from there, we on the same page, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to win, too. So from there, you kind of just make it work. And it's not perfect, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I get on his nerves a lot. He get on my nerves a lot. But, you know, that's that's any good relationship. And like I said, we've been really successful with it. Coach talked about demanding more from the leaders of other guys. Did you see that tonight, that, that you guys were able to be a little more vocal and kind of get into the flow of the game emotionally? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like we was talking the whole time out there, not to the other team, but to each other. Uh, you know, somebody made a mistake, you got it after them. Somebody did something good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you encourage them. You know all type of stuff. I feel like the, the whole night we was kind of there for our teammates, encouraging, teaching. You know, just the entire night. Do you feel like it was being your last game against Michigan at home? Is there an importance that you put on this game? Honestly, yeah, I forgot that it was my uh, my last game. Uh, just. And I knew it was a big game. I knew it was Michigan at the crib. Uh, I knew it was a game in the Big Ten that's going to be, you know, crucial down the road, uh, all type of stuff. So I kind of slipped my mind. It was my last one. But for last game to go, I'm pretty sure I, I'm going to take this one for sure. Did you, uh, did you get 